Hi everyone, welcome back. Hope you all are doing well. I'm back with yet another vlog. I love makeovers and crafts. It's been a while since I have done contents other than cooking. Though the curfew over here has been lifted, staying home is always safer than going out. I love to change positions in my home, which makes me feel that I'm in a new place. The same positions make me feel bored and I feel positive when I get a change because I do a deep clean along with it. A clean home is a happy home. There were few projects that were left incomplete due to lockdown. I wanted a tablecloth from a very long time and I don't prefer using it always but love to spread a tablecloth when I have guests coming over. The table looks beautiful when food is spread over with beautiful tablecloth and placemats and what not. Howsoever simple dishes you prepare, it would definitely look delicious. I even wanted to make placemats with an old bed sheet that I use very rarely because of the material that wasn't suitable to sleep on. But these projects were left incomplete because nobody comes home these days. But it's always good to even treat yourself and your family to stay positive in this lockdown. So finally decided to finish it off. I took the measurements of an old placemat. Since it's a bed sheet, it was thin material, so I folded it four times and gave a bit of thickness that way. I guess if you have very thick material, just one fold would be enough. I have my sewing machine from Singer brand. I bought this I guess 3 to 4 years back. I shall give the link of the machine in the description box. I don't have a proper organizer for the accessories nor a table to fix the machine. There's a small storage space here to keep in the tiny accessories, but that wouldn't be enough for all. The best thing about this machine is that it's very easy to thread the needle. You don't have to look sharp to pass the thread. You don't need to cut the thread with scissors. There's a tiny blade on the side. That's the button for reverse stitch. After stitching, it's important to iron to get a good shape. I even do that in between sewing. Kept the old mat to get the correct measurements. There was little extra to be folded inside and then stitched on the corners. I used to see my mom stitching the worn and torn. I wanted to use my mom's sewing machine which again was from Singer but she never let me thinking I would damage it and of course I would have because I didn't know the basics. After my 12th grade and before leaving back to India for my graduation, I had few weeks left and to make it productive, I went to a teacher to learn stitching. I don't remember her name but she taught me how to stitch a salwar, umbrella skirt, a frock and a maxi dress. 
She had asked me to keep going or else I would lose in touch. But luckily, I had my mother-in-law who taught me the rest. Just not to keep it plain, I give stitches horizontally and vertically. I use the double stitch so that it's more darker and stand out. I was actually not happy with the pink thread used to do the stitches, so I changed to black color. The border I gave the blanket stitch. This is a very easy stitch and very attractive too. It's very annoying when the thread from the bobbin is over in between stitching. It's not easy to finish the stitching in one day and I love to take my own time, relax with a cup of tea and then do the stitching. And that was done. My tablecloth was pure white. I wanted to color it using some dye. I had seen many videos using food items. And what made me try was onion peel. I don't know where I went wrong because I didn't get that deep color I expected. Either I didn't use as much peels or I used too much water. I anyway had given a try. I let the onion peels boil for an hour and left it overnight to cool down. To give a pattern to the tablecloth, I pinched in the center and swirled it. Then tied it with rubber band. That's a beautiful color of the dye. I was happy seeing the color but not with the end result. I think I should have used more peels and less water. I had soaked the cloth in plain water for some time and then in the dye. I had these curtains too that was lying around. I didn't use rubber band for the curtains to make the color even. After soaking in the dye for around 12 hours, spin dried and this is how it came. The curtain had a pretty yellow color. My husband loved the pattern on the tablecloth but I wasn't satisfied. I expected a deeper color. Many of you had asked about the kitchen additions from my last video. The cast iron skillet was most requested. I bought that from IKEA. The citrus press and the stand mixer was Philips brand bought from Souk.com which has now officially become Amazon Saudi Arabia. The French coffee press is again from IKEA. The color was very dull as you can see. It's always lovely to sit at the table and have food together with the family.
Now what I did with the tablecloth was I washed the tablecloth with washing powder and some bleach. So the dye was completely gone and I got the plain white color back. Then gave a beautiful stitch pattern. The sewing machine had some ready made ones so I chose one from it. I had shared that in my Instagram too. There was a white stitch on the fabric already so it was easy to follow as a white stitch was a guideline. This is how it looks but not yet completed. I'm very much obsessed with floral prints, be it a dress, a tablecloth or curtain. I had seen this floral net curtain in few of my friends' houses and it looked really pretty. Got one some time back but it was white and I didn't want to use it as such because it didn't match the apartment we are in. Finally got this beautiful yellow color. That's my helping hand always ready for me. It was way too long. I had to either cut and stitch or fold and stitch. I didn't want to cut it anyway. So I took the sewing machine near to it and did the needful. And that's the new tablecloth. I admit and agree that it's not practical to use it on a daily basis and especially white when kids are around. But once in a while, treating yourself is always a pleasure and refresh to your mind. I haven't shown any recipes in this video just because I wanted to be away from cooking content. These are recipes that I had already shown too. I had read this from a book. Food looks delicious when the table is set beautifully. So try to treat yourself and your family by setting a beautiful table with simple dishes. The reason I say simple is because you shouldn't be having the pressure of being in the kitchen cooking so much to make it a big treat and then setting up the table finally ending up not enjoying the treat. So cook simple and stay beautiful from inside. Stay positive and stay active. Hope you like this simple vlog, shall come up with more. I know I am being very late in posting videos. I love my work and I want a calm atmosphere to work in. Don't want to be in a hurry to post vlogs. Thank you so much for all your support and love. See you soon. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.